what up what up what up this mike the philosopher here with another one this one is support court all right i ain't gonna hold you let's go in all rise support court with judge Van B is now in session judge's case number jvb2003 morris case thank you you're welcome you all may be seated all right mr morris you brought this case before the court what's going on well i come to you today your honor because i'm trying to get my child support reduction okay all right um, based on what? Like, what's going on? Well, I currently pay uh, $880 a month for child support. Okay. I also pay $362 for health insurance. And um, I see my kids every, every, maybe like four times a week. Okay. I see them a lot, pretty often. And um, she's trying to take my kids and move off to Florida. Okay. And, Yana, I'm not, I'm not going for that. All right. Did she tell you why she was trying to move to Florida? Because she just want to live her best life. She said that? That's what it is. She want to go to the beach, drink coconut balls, whatever they have out there in Florida, and just, just have her best life. Okay, wait a minute. So, did she actually tell you that, or are you interpreting her as living her best life? Yana, why would anybody else want to move to Florida? That's, par that's Paradise City. Well, I mean, I kind of want to move too, but I can't go. You know what I'm saying? Because I got to work. So, could it be for a job? You know, Yana, I, I haven't asked because when she told me that she wanted to move to Florida, I got so upset about the fact of losing my kids mm -hmm. that I was like, are you moving to Florida for like vacation time or just so you can live your best life or because we in Texas. I'm in Texas. I'm what a good she, dad. So what did she say to that when you said, are you trying to move to Florida to live your best life? She said, she said, Yo, you shouldn't have messed up. What did you do? <sighs> it's a long story, Yana. If you... I, I could tell you how we how we split up, but I, I kind of messed up. Well, I have time. Yeah. Um, you know, it's real sad, man, when people use children as weapons, particularly a lot of women, because men don't really have that the opportunity to use kids as weapons. But women do. And boy, oh boy, when they have a need to pull that joker out their back pocket they pull it out um you know oftentimes it's, it's it's said that the men they don't stick around they don't stick around that's why so many single uh mother households out here because the men don't stick around what well, nobody's really counting when the woman leave okay it's not always the guy who's leaving. Now he's gonna he's gonna say how he messed up badly. He probably cheated on her or whatever the case may be. That's okay, fair enough. But that's no reason to take the man kids away from him. Um and move to another state just because you want to live your best life. If she do go to Florida, is she entitled to the full child support he see his kids four times out of the week it shouldn't be no child support in my opinion because he got them just as much as she do so and this is where the court this is how the courts really go bias and just hand the woman all the money even though the man is taking care of his kids four times out of the week <laughs> they still hand the money to the woman it's it's crazy to me let's go in do, do me a favor <laughs> do me a favor I, I i don't i didn't even realize you had gum in your mouth till you start smiling you know i don't allow gum chewing in here it i'm just, sorry i'm sorry oh it's okay you can just put it to your back of your throat I, yes, i'm not gonna tell you to swallow it i don't think that's really healthy yes ma'am but i have back. time for the story when you're ready after it, you it's to the back right now your honor no more chewing for me okay. so um continue long story short i met this lady um our freshman year of college okay and uh, we were in class and uh, she was sitting in the front and I was sitting in the back and I, I saw her and I said man I'm gonna have to put my beard in 
as soon as class is over. A so bid. That's what they call it these yeah, days. Okay. We, we call it put your bid in. Cause, right. you know, I'm sure there's other people that put their bid in too. So if I got the highest bid, of course, I'm a getter, you know. Oh, so, so you subcontracting these things now. I was, yeah. At, at that time, I was subcontracting, you know what I'm Interesting. saying? Interesting. Right, right. Keep going. So, so I saw in the hall. And I wonder if uh, Vonda B is. <laughs> she's real coy with this guy. I wonder if she's attracted to him. Uh, you know, uh, just, the, just the way she moves. Like, I get a good feel for women and how they move and, and what they're how they vibing and, and stuff like that and she's really intrigued by how this story about how he met her and all this other stuff yeah i want to hear this almost like she is attracted to him and like okay yeah i want to hear how you uh hooked up with her yeah let's let's hear this story you know how it is um i'm not saying she is but i wouldn't put that off the table let's go in and I came to her and my bid won. And we was together for years, y'all. And we were together for years. We have two kids. We have a five-year-old and a 10-year-old. Okay. Throughout the time. And as life just went on, we just started kind of fading, y'all. Um, I'm a coach. I'm a football coach at a college. Okay. And um, one of the cheerleading coaches kept hitting on me. And I kept rejecting her. So you put a bid on her, too? I, she put the bid on me, y'all. Oh. Yeah, she put the bid on me. Hmm. So I was, um, I was, I gave in to that bid. She had a high bid. And at the time, my lady, she wasn't putting no more bids on me. She wasn't cooking me dinner. She wasn't massaging me like she used to. She wouldn't even let me watch sports on Sundays, Yana, because she wanted to watch The Bachelor. So it just, it just wasn't working. And I gave in to what was going on, and I messed up. She saw me. Y'all only got one TV? <laughs> she wanted to watch The Bachelor, not The Bachelor. That tells you she has some dreams of meeting a Romeo, meeting a uh, Prince Charming, so to speak, right? If she watching The Bachelor, she want to be one of them women vying for The Bachelor. She, she's not happy with her situation, especially if she's not letting you watch your shows, your, your, your sports for The Bachelor. So, yeah. On my phone, she saw that I was with her a few times and she left me, Anna. Okay. And she left me. That was a very colorful story. It's very interesting. I hear the word bid. I think about someone, you know, trying to do construction on my home so it's just interesting hearing you use that term referring to relationships okay so you don't want her to move to florida no ma'am all right and you want your child support reduced as a result if she does move or well, do you just want it reduced just because i just want it reduced just because okay got it i feel like i'm i know dudes that don't see their kids ever and they not on child support i see my kids multiple times through the week and i'm paying 880 dollars a month okay fair enough i believe i have majority of what i needed okay is there anything else you wanted me to know before i move over to her uh no that's that's about it yana that's okay about it. all right all right. Now, and give me your last name. It's Adams with Adams. two D's. Adams with two D's. Okay. All right. Mrs. Adams or Miss Adams. Thank you. Okay. Miss Adams. So tell me about, so this story that he told, he, he actually, you know, you won the bid or he won the bid. Well, I think that tells you everything you need to know about his, uh, his view of relationships is very transactional. Oh yeah. That's the word I was looking for. That's it. Transactional. Yeah. Yeah, okay. it's very much a, a, I do this and you do that. And um, I think the fact that he didn't even bother to mention our children's names should tell you everything about our relationship. Well, he, he told me the ages. Yeah, well, that's great. Um, Robert and Madison, that's with a Y. But she didn't ask for the kid. Okay, yeah, uh, I get oh. it. Um, anyway, so... Um, Going back to, evidently I'm just going to Florida for a permanent vacation. Um, I'm actually going for a job. All right. So, so what's that job? Robert, and I'm gonna be a marine biologist. 
So, so when, when this dream come apart? Because you ain't had this dream when we met. See, exactly. Do you wanna listen? Miss sure. Adams, Miss Adams, I need you to talk directly to me, okay? Yes, ma'am. And Mr. Morris, I've given you an opportunity to speak. You, Let me hear what she has to say. You right, and Ms. people can change dreams. I mean, depending on how long you guys have been apart, a lot could have changed in our life. It's just you taking my kids, Judge. It's okay, just. well, let's hear what Yeah, um... Boy, oh boy. Just, just her demeanor. I don't, it's no wonder he not with her no more. Like, look, I'm not saying that this guy is, uh, uh, you know, innocent in any of this. But he's right. The judge didn't ask for the kid's name. Like, why, why, are, why is that a problem? Because I didn't mention their name. Like, we're on, we're sort of on TV or whatever on the internet. Maybe I don't. Maybe I want to keep my kid's name confidential. Why? Why are you blasting our kid's name out in public like that? You know, just that's that's what I would be thinking. And she seemed to take everything this guy do personally. That tells you all you need to know about this guy. Well, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Um, just because he move a little differently than you, don't mean that. <clears throat> he's a bad guy now i'm not saying that she's a bad woman but i i see a whole lot of pain in this woman maybe from a, a broken heart maybe her heart was broken by this guy but let me tell you something when it goes bad <laughs> uh especially with uh you know the beckys it goes very bad it goes very bad. Let's go back in. What she has to say. Right. It, yeah. She said marine biologist, right? Yes. That sounds like a really good job. And I want to hear about it. See how much money she makes. She all just right? having random dreams, Judge. But it's all Okay, good. that's great. But I need to see how much money she's making. Right. Okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Got less talking. More listening. Um. Yeah, the judge is trying to help you out, bro. Let's see how much money she's making so you can get this reduction. You want to shut up for a second? How about you do that so we can get to this money? Okay, let's let's go. And you do the same thing. All right, now. Jesus. Continue. So I'm taking the kids to Florida because I have a greater job opportunity. Okay. And you know, it's so interesting to me that he says that he sees the kids four times a week. I guess he's talking about maybe a FaceTime call or seeing them on his phone screen because I certainly don't see him picking up the kids and taking them to the doctor and cleaning up vomit in the middle of the night. <gasps> so it's great that he thinks that, um, that he's paying for the right to see his kids um, and that there are people who don't pay child support and, and who see their kids a whole lot judge that tells you everything you need to know about the transactional nature of relationships to mr. Morris so look the, the fact of the matter is I guess he doesn't realize that his children are gonna need to eat whether they live in Texas or they live in Florida and that's they're true gonna, and they're gonna need new tennis shoes and new clothes and I guess he just thinks that kid like money goes on trees or that 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 kids just eat for free it's not how it works this isn't tgi fridays <laughs> tgi fridays my question to her would be do you really expect him to be okay with you snatching the kids and taking him them to florida and and still getting the same amount of money that you're getting i don't understand why are you confused with his disapproval of this whole move let's reverse it he has custody of the kids he decides to move to new york leave you in texas are you cool with that why are you paying him money to see your kids you can't because he's in new york with your kids sometimes i, I don't <clears throat> sometimes people just don't have the ability to see things from the other person perspective 
Why is this a shock to you? You expect him to be okay with this? It's ridiculous. Um, let's go back in. So, the cost of living is going to be higher in Florida. All right, what are we looking at? Okay. So, my rent is going up from $2,000 a month to $2,800 a month. Okay. Because I have to have a three bedroom because Robert and Madison need their own bedrooms. And, uh, of course, I have to pay for, um, for flood insurance and other things like that. Okay. <sighs> All right. And you mentioned food. Yeah. So, um, the kids eat organic. Okay. And they're vegan. And so my grocery bill for them is already close to $800 a month. Okay. So his, his opinion that $880 is too much for the kids is wrong. It is a wrong opinion because your children deserve the nutrition they need to grow up big and healthy and strong so they can be college athletes like you want them to. Okay, so Ms. Adams, you said that your rent is going up $800. Yeah. You have to pay flood insurance. They're, um, the children's diet, they're, they eat organic food and they're vegan. Okay, so are you using the child support for flood insurance and rent too? Or are you using it to feed the kids? I just want to make sure I'm clear on what it is that you're saying in regards to his request to get a reduction. Yes, Your Honor. Um, but so the thing is that if I was living in a one bedroom because I was by myself, my rent would be a lot lower. All but right. I have to get a three bedroom because I have a boy and a girl and I don't want them sleeping in the same bedroom. Absolutely. Yeah, I can see that. So I have to get a three bedroom and, and so it's not just that, it's my electric bill, it's cell phones because our five year old has a cell phone so now I have to make sure that we've got uh, her a phone line so you can talk to her dad so he can see her four times a week on FaceTime. <laughs> so about that. He said that he sees the children now four times a week, and you're saying that's not true, except for like a FaceTime video or something like that. He sees the kids on an inconsistent basis. That's a lie, Your Honor. Okay, okay. So when you say inconsistent, right now, do you all operate under a standard order where it's like first, third, and fifth? Um, we have every, he has every weekend, and I have during the week. Okay, so every weekend he has. Right. Okay. During that every weekend, it's inconsistent is what you're saying? I mean, it's just all over the place. He just oh. comes and goes and sees the kids whenever it's convenient to him or maybe his girlfriend like turns him down for a date or whatever. Okay, so that was petty. What girlfriend are you talking about? We, we didn't have you. to go there. <laughs> we didn't have to go there. So is that what the issue is? Like you're still mad at him about that story that he told well okay so he put in a bid for an upgrade or the upgrade put in a bid for him or whatever and now he has to i have to explain to our son why our family fell apart oh <sighs> yeah um <clears throat> well here's the deal yeah he did mess up he did mess up my question is when did this happen when did this happen because it seems like she was not doing the same things that she was doing in the beginning of the relationship she stopped giving him massages she stopped uh you know letting him watch football on on tv in order to watch her bachelor and i she i think he said she stopped cooking or something like that too so she stopped doing a lot of stuff which made it easy for the other chick to put a bid in <laughs> so when she goes to her son though and explains why the family fell apart she's going to put all of the blame on him the father she's going to put all the blame on him not taking into account the things that she did to contribute to the downfall herself by neglect and probably even disrespect. 
Um, he shouldn't have took the bid by the other chick. Let's be clear about that. He shouldn't have took that bid. But she shouldn't have made it so easy for another chick to put in a bid. She got lazy and stopped doing wifely duties, which happens from time to time. So, I mean, even if a guy do it, he, he'll neglect doing his husband duties or whatever the case may be. The wife may creep. She may creep after that. You know what I mean? Okay, if you're not going to do it, then I get somebody else to do it. You know, contract that 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 work out but she's clearly still bitter about the whole thing she's clearly upset that he got girlfriends or he got other women i mean if they're apart now i don't see why it's su such a big issue you're apart now do your thing but the best way to retaliate is to take the kids and and move to florida she says it's for a job fine you you can move you can move to florida i get my son you get our daughter and we just get rid of child support how about that okay i, I mean that's that's sort of how i would move now some might say all oh, that well that's ridiculous not really you just you just split in custody and then uh Later on in the year, you can swap, okay? Son can go with the mother in the summertime. The daughter can go with the father in the summertime. You know? That's how I think it should go, but let's go in. So it's some hurt feelings there. Okay, I understand. So, have you already moved to Florida? Or is this something that you're intending on doing pretty soon? Well, I, I took the job offer and I've already found an apartment. So the answer is yes. You pretty much already... Everything but the U-Haul, Your Honor. Okay. So in your court order, do you have a geographic restriction because dad lives here? Yes, but he moved just outside of, of Ellis County. So he's just outside of the geographic restriction. So it's technically lifted, Your Honor. Okay. And technically is what you said but is that what your court order says well the court order says dallas and contiguous counties and he moved like a mile on the on the other <laughs> side of the ellis county line okay and i do have a copy of your court order here and it doesn't mention that it's automatically lifted oh okay well yeah, i was o just thinking always, it was the one that always right thank you your honor always thank right you. What? i'm sorry always right um, because you can't just leave. You, you can't just do that. You, you actually have to ask permission to modify this order like he did. Well, can I modify the order to move to Florida? Um, did you file anything to, for today? I mean, I... It's a yes or no. Um, no. <laughs> okay. So you're moving without asking the court can you move and dad is still living here well i guess i just didn't understand the way the order was written because i had i had heard that if he moved outside of where it said then i could move who out did you hear that from did you google you 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 did one of those google searches um one of the google lawyers told you that um yeah I guess oh okay <laughs> because they told you wrong and that's the problem with googling everything you should have actually consulted with an attorney who would have interpreted this order properly to you you can't just move so let me tell you what we're going to do because I think it, this is the fair thing to do regardless to whether you say his visits are inconsistent he say they're consistent the reality of it is, is when you move to Florida, he can no longer have access to those kids. So even if he were coming this day, this day, this day, and did every weekend, he won't be able to do that anymore now that you are going to move to Florida. So what I'm not going to touch is your custody arrangement. Not going to touch that at all. This is a child support court that has nothing to do with us, okay? So I'm not going to touch it at all. You are free to move to Florida. 
However, he's coming off child support. So then he can use the money, the 880 or so dollars to, that he would give you for child support, he can use that to travel to actually see the kids. But what if he doesn't, Your Honor? Well, if he doesn't, then after some time of him not doing it consistently, and when I say consistently and consecutively, it needs to at least be about six months or something like that, right? Then you can come back and let me know, Judge, he's not exercising regularly. I need some support for these two kids, right? But absent anything like that, I believe that's in the best interest of the children. And quite frankly, that's fair. You are moving without permission, right? Yeah. which is a violation of your court order so it's only fair that he stops paying child support so beyond a reduction he's coming out of child support today now you will have to keep maintaining the health insurance okay that's fine your honor all right so that what is it 362 yes you'll still continue to pay the health insurance but there will be no child support paid from him to you <laughs> uh you know, as a as a man, because I've been through the system, I'm not sure if this is a win or, or a loss, to be honest. Yeah, you get off child support, but you don't get access to your kids. So, and I'm not even sure why she's still having him pay for the insurance because he's going to be in another state. The kids are probably going to be under her insurance um, at her new job and he they're gonna have insurance in texas like the 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 the, the facility or the health care plan may not even be available anywhere in florida for him it might be out of network i don't know so i don't know why he still got to pay for the insurance um she got a job now she could she could pay for the insurance unless he uh pays her reimburses her like if she if she has to pay insurance for the kids maybe his 300 something will reimburse her so maybe he'll give her that direct payment instead of paying an insurance company like that would be ridiculous but again not sure if this is a win or a loss because even though he gets off, he don't get to see his kids very often. Um, only six months. Uh, and let me tell you something. The absence of a father can start to take a toll on the kids. It really can. It can really start to take a toll. And the father can actually be alienated after a while. So... Um, you know then the kids be like ah, i don't want to go visit dad this year i, I want to go to camp i want to go to summer camp i want to go see him you know what i mean then it's like out of sight out of mind type of thing so i don't know let's hear some more hopefully you guys can come to an agreement that's the plan your honor once we leave i plan on giving her a call so we can try to talk about things and kind of get on a good level with each other yeah i think that can work and who knows you your job may transfer up here and you may end up being back in dallas anyway now if that happens you all would need to come back because then we need to look at something different about what child support is going to be but until then you know enjoy florida all right is there anything further no Thank you, Your Honor, for everything. You, you really made a big change in my life, and I'm glad we came to your court today. All right. Well, you're very welcome. And if there's nothing further, you all are dismissed. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. Be sure to like. Yeah, and there you have it with that. Um, what do y'all think? Let me, uh, I, I really like to know. Put it in the comments. Um, was the judgment fair? Do y'all think it was fair? Because... She didn't have permission. She didn't put in an order to move. You can't just move. And you got somebody's kids. You can't just pick up and move and think it's all gravy. It's just, that's not how it works. <laughs> she is just like double, triple, and quadruple salty at this dude. <laughs> he seemed to be, it, 
from her perspective, it probably seemed like he get away with everything. He get away with breaking up the family, get away with having other girlfriends, get away with paying child support. So she probably so so uh, upset with this guy it's ridiculous but let me know what y'all think about it put it in the comments i really would like to see those hit the like share and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one peace